Hi everyone, Aldbar here, and welcome to this playthrough. Well, I am back. Couldn't wait to have my chance again. Uh, I've done a lot of changes, and I think I'm prepared, so let's give it a shot. I tried to use my experience from my previous attempt to figure out uh, how to do it consistently. So here's what I've got. Um... I think Destinies, I left this the same, this I left the same, here's what I've got, I'm making sure I've got this mantle, okay, all force, and this, so when I have, I have a chance of getting 110 hit points, this way I can cast spells and gain back hit points. Second thing I'm going to do is I made sure I've got my stance, okay, so first of all let's swap stance. I'm going to be using a stance that allows me to save on spell points, and then I'm going to use Ruin and Greater Ruin for both uh, for both the big uh, nukers using uh, purely, uh, what's it called? Untyped damage. I also got this. They farmed out this ring. So it's got the impulse and 10% magical efficiency so I can save on spell points and... Uh, Kinetic lore, whatever it is. But yeah, hopefully this works out well. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'm not sure which side's better. Supposed to be a safe spot here, also. start so we got this and here's the big trick I use this the finishing move the monk basically allows me to uh, use a uh, get a discount for my spells Cooldowns off. Use it again. Oh, this is definitely much more, fa uh, much faster. We got the cooldown up. I'm just casting random spells to increase my chance of getting a uh, three spell points. Okay, that was nice. Let's rebuff. I need to do a. Uh, the monk finishing move. Ooh, I might be short on spell on the uh, key. Oh, I can do it. The best thing about this is it's considered a spell itself. Okay, I've got him. Well, that was much faster this time. Okay, waiting for uh, to get off cooldown. All right. Any moment now. Still got my monk buff. Ruin, greater ruin. Nice. Still got my monk buff. That's the most important part. Get a 25% discount on all spells. Crazy. Okay. Made it past phase number one. Let's see if I can actually... Nope. Oh, I can actually attack him. I'm using a five piece Zyper set just so that I can't be knocked over and they still knock me over. So I don't know what's up with this. Okay. 
Okay, we're back to zero damaging. Okay, now we're into this part. Okay, so from this part on, I'm gonna have to watch my hit points. My plan is to leave the archers up if there are any, and attack and kill only the, the other stuff. You gotta get rid of all the trash. You get too much trash, uh, you'll die to uh, what's it called? Whatever it's called. The um, red dungeon alert. Okay. I'm gonna leave the archers up. The archers are good for me because I've got the torque on and the torque basically makes me have and the spell point so living them up is uh, in my best interest okay let's uh let's prep again also the cipher attack totally does not work the way I expected it to work It doesn't seem to be preventing me from being knocked on. Okay. Take this. Catch the big dragon. I need to get him down to like 50%. Is the dragon. Not you. You. One, two. Still got my dra my buff on. Oh. Dungeon looks not good. Let's clear out some stuff. Having the ability to deal with AoE is kind of important over here. So, luckily I'm not a single target. Yep, yeah, but whatever it is, DPS. I mean, <laughs> I am doing some serious single target DPS, but not only single target. Okay, let's redo uh, my uh, monk buff. Okay, one second, water, now a finisher, okay, this dragon needs to be targeted, we got him, see, did I get him? I hope so. Okay, dragon again. I completely am ignoring those uh, purple, uh, whatever they're called, the other side. I really should cast uh, Death Ward. Forgot about it. Hope this thing doesn't give me too much trouble. I don't know where the dragons went. Yellow dungeon alert, not good. Gotta get rid of all this trash. 
again. I don't mind the archers. Archers help me with the spell point regen. It's the other ones that are the trouble. These netheries are getting on my nerves. to die. Archers can stay. Hey, where are the dragons? I need to like touch the stone meridian or something. But I'm not wasting my time. Nope. Okay. So I have no clue as to what am I supposed to be doing now. Oh, here we go. Dragons are back. At least I saw one of them fly over. And die. I don't understand what's going on. Why aren't they coming back down? Build another raise. Do I like have to kill a whole bunch of the rounds of these things or do I have to kill the archers also? I guess we'll kill the archers and find out. Okay, here's the dragons. H. Okay. So, this dragon. Or this dragon. Got him twice. Every time right now I'm reapplying my uh, buff, my monk buff. Trying to at least reapply my monk buff. It gives me the the benefit of the extra 25% discount on all uh, spells. Okay. Is available you hey okay, this one's on fire now oh this is your turn
going to manage all this nonsense all at once. Yeah, I shouldn't have given up on so much of my uh, ability just to not be knocked down. I mean, and then get knocked down anyways. Well, you learn. Gotta get rid of all this nonsense. Really hard to target these things in the middle of all this nonsense. I feel like I don't have a choice, but I have to clear everything. Maybe if I go over to the side and stand in the safe spot, it'll be easier to manage these things. So, where's the safe spot? Some place around here, I think. Who's got the thing? Okay, that worked. Um, taking damage again. Also, I clearly don't know where the safe spot is. place over here also is supposed to be like a safe spot. Okay. This is not very effective because I can't see what I'm doing. to select the dragons. Okay, 160. I need to get down to 140. Come on. Get off cooldown. 160. some more of this garbage. Be careful not to use my uh, Ruin and Greater Ruin on the wrong targets. I need to catch this dragon. 154. 151. 140. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, we got the 181. One needs to come down. Okay. Give me one more of these. And see, 
178. 290. This one's got to get it around to 150. Cool down. Come on. Get off cool down. 178. 172. Hey, got to get to around 150. I feel like there's like kind of a rhythm to this. But once you get in the rhythm, you're okay. Okay, off cooldown. 164. I'm just ref refreshing my uh, monk buff between every time. Just like the past the time. And also because it happens to be that the monk, the monk buff is also considered a... Uh, what's it called? Oh, there we go! Okay, and now I'm going to change tactic. Okay, my tactics are going to be that now I'm going to swap into Exiled Angel. Because I don't want to die. And I'm going to leave up as much archers as possible. And we're going to ignore the dragons and try to kill as, as much of this uh, trash as possible. Let's we'll try to stand someplace kind of close to the Meridian. We need to be able to target it. Okay. Now it's a waiting game. If I do succeed at this, I'm definitely gonna have to make a solo walkthrough and guide for it. But I still have a lot to learn. Honestly, I've okay. Oh, I don't have enough spell points. Let's make enough spell points like this, and then go like that. on give me 10 spell points come on 10 spell points oh whatever I'll just attack it As long as I leave it for the end, I should be okay. Yeah, as long as I don't mess up royally, I should be okay. All oh, right, I forgot I'm in the wrong destiny to have temporary hit points. I need, uh, I need the what's it called? I need them to hit me. My bad, I forgot. Sorry. But at least we got the torque for that. Yes, and now it's just a waiting game. Play our trash, wait for the thing to go down. Try to leave as many of the archers as possible, not to kill them by mistake. Because they're the ones who are going to recharge all of my uh, spell points. If I get myself a breather here, I'll take a screenshot. Okay, Meridian's uh, available again. I know that hitting it at the end makes it blow up and you can take a lot of damage, so you gotta leave the last, the last bit. I don't know if you have to kill both dragons at the end also with the same restriction of not standing next to each other. I actually don't know. 
I'll find out. But like I said, that I've been looking for many years for a solo walkthrough and guide, or just a video guide on how to solo this raid, and I haven't found anything. And the best I could do is I found somebody who did a solo run of it and posted it. And from trying to analyze what they did, all I can tell is I think, I mean, it seemed like, I mean, this is the best I could get, is they're using Disintegrate, and Disintegrate's untyped. And that gave me my first indication that maybe Ruin or Greater Ruin would work. So that's basically all I had to go off. I couldn't find any like normal guide for it, any place. It was just like, yeah, somebody did a legendary normal, then did a legendary hard. I'm like, yeah, you can explain how you did it. Nope. Secret. Yeah, it's not my style. I like explaining everything and I don't know, allowing other people to try it for themselves also do it. I'm not uh, hoarding the success to myself. So if you do see this and you do try it and you do succeed, please post a video. I like watching other people do it and, uh, you know, learn something new and enjoy it. That is my goal after all. My primary video style was a solo walkthrough and guide. So making a video that explains how to do things is, yeah, so other people can do it also. Okay, we're getting close to the end, so. I've been saving up all of my spell points, so I can use it on the last Ruin and Greater Ruin. Do the Monk buff again. Yeah, but it's a kind of a disappointment for me. It's a very big disappointment for me that uh, the that filigree set isn't really protecting me from getting knocked over. False advertisement. Okay. Let's hit a little bit more. Okay. Ah, uh, get out. Okay. Come on, don't die now. Gotta get rid of all this extra stuff. Hey. Seems like we're pretty clear. Now we'll find out if the dragons can take damage when they're not standing next to each other. Or do I have to... Do they take damage or not? I can't tell. I literally can't tell. Twenty-eight thousand seven hundred seven forty. Taking like one and two damage. No, I can't like nickel and dime these things. Okay, let's uh, let's see if I can uh, beat him down with the small amount of hit points I've got here. So you. Okay, here we go. Twenty-five, twenty. Here we go again. Fourteen. Nine. Let's rebuff my uh, monk stat. Okay.
six, nine. Okay, should one of them should die any second now. As soon as I get off cooldown. I guess it can't die. 18,000. Ooh, this is not good. Well, I'm getting back some spell points. It's very needed. Okay, here we go again. 15, 10. Hope I get back there. Or. Yes! The completionist. There we go. This is my 19th out of six out of 36 uh, raids. I have completed with this character 19 out of 36 raids. Gotta clear out the last bit of garbage so I can just take my loot. Threads of Fate. Oh wow. Might be one of the easiest uh, raids to uh, farm uh, Threads of Fate. I'm kidding. One second, we gotta... I think I can rip some good picture out of the my previous run. So there we go. 30 minutes. Eh, not bad. Sadly, this is kind of boring. Yeah, finished. Fire and Thunder Peak. Well, that concludes that. One thing I've discovered. Well, I'm glad I got it. Very satisfying. As always, when you finish raids, don't forget to turn it in. The most important about finishing it, the most important thing about when you finish a raid, don't forget to turn it in. Or next time you want to come around, you won't be able to do it because you'll be on timer. I think that if I properly set up my character and make it way more tanky uh, and change things around, I should be able to do this on a high difficulty. Maybe hard, I dare say even elite, but uh, that's kind of pushing it. Anyway, yeah, well, anybody else who wants to try it out, all you need is Ruining Greater Ruin, and yeah, the Epic Density Mantle, this one, this will speed up the beginning part much faster, because you have these two things, make sure you get three points in here, three points in here, get your Destiny Mantle, and you'll keep on refilling your thing. So even if you can't do my uh, really nasty trick of Monk Stance, by the way is this, uh, where is it? Uh, come on, I can't find it now. This is good. Where's water? Yes, here. So, you do a water attack. Then you do a good attack. Then you do a water attack. And the finishing move, this thing, okay, is what gives you the ability. Okay. Aligning with the heavens, whatever it's called, this thing. This thing also is considered a spell, by the way. So when you cast it, there's a good chance you'll get 100, uh, 100 points. I don't know if uh, anything else triggers it. Let's see if anything else triggers it. Yeah, there you go. I healed myself and got 100 extra points. So yeah, that's basically the gimmick. And then you can use your uh, Ruin and Greater Ruin. I mean, your Ruin is not going to cost 47. Your Greater Ruin is not going to cost 88. But again, 
I don't even have quicken on it. If you have like maximize and empower a whole bunch of other stuff, I mean, you can get this much better. I was just was like good enough. I don't need any better than that, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Anyways, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and yeah, I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.